Hello everybody. Good morning to all. So from 6 we have learned about one chapter named fiber to fabric. Do you remember about the chapter? Ah in the chapter we studied about the different types of fibers. Natural fibers are there, synthetic fibers are there. Natural fibers are mainly coming from plants and animals that we know. And also we studied about two important plant fibers that is a cotton and jute. just recall what are the points that we studied there so here also we are going to study the same chapter fiber to fabric but a little advanced okay the what are the different uh, the steps associated with the processing of this animal fiber such as wool and silk so shall we start our chapter so first of all in this chapter you have to study about the wool yielding animals wool yielding animals they are the they are usually present in Uh, this areas some of the area of this uh, rajasthan gujarat jammu and kashmir etc in all these areas we can see uh, this kind of wool yielding animals such as uh, sheep uh, yak then goat camel llama alpaca etc all these are the different types of wool yielding animals so the farmers they are usually Uh, in this areas the farmers they are usually depending on this processing of wool they are this are rearing this animals so rearing means cult nourishing giving special care and nourishment for this kind of animals so let's learn about the processing of animal fiber that is a fiber from sheep and goat uh, to wool what are the different steps associated with this the first step involved this is the rearing and breeding of sheep the farmers they are selecting good quality sheep the good quality sheep they are usually by a pros- by selecting by combining or selecting the parents with the good qualities what is a good quality mentioned here that is nothing that is only not the milk production capacity but only the uh, wool yielding capacity how much hair how much thick air hair they can produce that is the quality they are considering okay so by considering this good quality they are selecting the parents with this kind of hairs and allow them to breed and produce a next generation of sheep or goats with this desired good character this process is called a selective breeding as a result of selective breeding of parents we will get a selective bred selective bred is usually with a good um, this quality what is a good quality ah that is a um animal with a thick coat of hair over the skin okay this is the rearing and breeding of a sheep then the next is the processing fibers into wool how this wool is processed into fibers okay so the uh, a number of steps are there the step 1 is the shearing ala shearing means nothing it is a process of shaving so we know that this usually the gents are shaving off their facial hairs by using the shaving set and the or from the barber shop they are doing so so simply they are shaving off hair this from the skin of the body the skin of the face so like that this process is shearing of animals this is also the same process shaving off the hair of this from the skin of this animals shaving will never hurt the animal because it is only re- this uh, outer this uh, skin of the hair that is only uh, removing it doesn't be, uh, this uh, hurt the animal because we are not uprooting we are not this uh, making a disturbance to the root of this hair that is why there will be no pain at the time of shaving off because the outermost layer of the skin is usually dead that is why there is no feeling or there is no pain feeling so after this, this step is this is the first step called the shearing after the uh, shearing the second step is the scouring during scouring uh, they are keeping all this uh, sheared skin in large tanks to remove the hey this kind of uh, dirt the dust particles dirt particles and other kind of things present over the hair of this uh, animals so for that purpose to remove this purpose they are keeping this in large tanks for washing so uh, scouring is nothing that's a special kind of washing but nowadays uh, it is no like this because for the all this purpose machines are available now and the machines are doing the scouring and others then the third step is the sorting sorting means the pressing 
that is a separation of hairs of different structures or qualities some hairs are very long but some hairs are very small and fluffy soft so different types are there so sorting is also considered as one of the important tasks that means separating the different hairs of different qualities that is the third step then fourth one is uh, this uh, dyeing that means uh, the five after so this uh, sorting the all the fibers are uh, dried very neatly they are dried under the sun and after that they are giving special colors to different fibers colored clothing or colored um, uh, fabrics we are getting that is because of this dyeing process okay and uh, after this all this fibers are used uh, for the purpose of spinning spinning that we studied what is that the process of a preparation of yarn from the fibers so these are the different steps involved in the processing of wool okay